Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. It's called Zibi, named after the Algonquin Ashinaabe word for river, and it's one of the largest planned carbon neutral communities in Canada. Zibi is located smack dab in the middle of the Ottawa River. Half of the project is in Ottawa, and the other half is in Gatineau, Quebec. The project is being developed by Dream Unlimited and Thea Partners. Hi, I'm Ashley Graham, and I am the project manager of sustainability at ZB. It's a 34-acre development. Um, it's about 60% of that roughly lies on the Gatineau side of the river and 40% um, on the Ottawa side, uh, just in terms of surface area. Uh, at Build Out, we'll have about 6,000 people working here and 5,000 people living uh, at ZB. Yeah, so ZB is the first One Planet Living um, project in Canada. So that means that we are developing under a sustainability framework called the One Planet Living Framework. The One Planet Living Framework was developed by BioRegional, a UK-based social enterprise. Among the 10 principles are commitments to equity, local economy, zero waste, and zero carbon energy. Um, we are operating on a district normal energy system, uh, which makes um, which makes ZV a carbon neutral community. Carbon neutrality at ZV, what does that mean? Well, it means that we're using post-industrial thermal energy from a tissue paper plant just downstream from us, um, a, a plant by Kruger. We're using that post-industrial thermal energy to heat our community coupled with uh, chilling from the Ottawa River. Zibi takes the waste heat from a paper plant and feeds it into a district energy system to heat the buildings. And our electrical inputs come from uh, our neighbour, Portage Power, which is a run of river project um, and is infamous as it's the Shadziab Dam for those who know uh, the National Capital Region well. Uh, this is combined with, uh, with building energy efficient buildings. So Zibi's using waste heat, renewable electricity and efficient high-density living spaces. We're really in the early stages of the project. Um, they operate uh, anywhere from 18 to 30 percent um, more efficient than code. So uh, we, you know, we achieve that through design and working with our architecture teams. One thing that we're really trying to move away from is these all glass buildings. While they may be beautiful, um, they don't work in a climate resilient um, society. Uh, they don't work in, in our climate here in the National Capital Region. And so we're really trying to shift that, that way of thinking. Sean Lawrence is with Cone Partnership Architects, and his company is building Zibi Block 206, a 25-story efficiently designed tower that includes co-living units, social housing, and traditional suites. We're in a site right in the middle of the Ottawa River with amazing views up and down the river, down river to the Parliament Buildings, up river, uh, and, uh, and off to the Gatineau Hills in the distance. And it's, So how do you capitalize on that? but still design a a highly energy efficient uh, envelope. So we've reduced the amount of glass, we've upped the insulation values. Zibby's building a new kind of sustainable urban design with abundant public spaces that thanks to the One Living framework also includes such requirements as edible landscaping. At first blush, to be honest, sounded a little strange. You know, like one of those ones I remember looking at initially, it said, well, 50% of your your, land, your soft landscaping has to be edible. And I thought, well, that's, I don't know. And then you, it's, it's, as you start looking at it in more detail, it actually makes a lot of sense because you can use, you know, high bush cranberry, for instance. You can find hardy things that survive in the Ottawa climate. You know, fruit trees are, are can be decorative, but they also feed into the idea of community building. Zibby's building what they believe is a model climate-ready community. Next week, we'll explore what the community will look and feel like. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.